This is a short video about some of the clip snapping shortcuts available in Pro Tools. So the first one, if you have the playhead located where you want it and you want to move a clip to that location, the easiest way to do it is to, on the Mac, control click the clip, which on Windows would be start click. So position the cursor on the Mac, hold down control or start on Windows and then just with the grabber tool, click on the clip. And you'll notice that what happened there was it snapped the start of the clip to the playhead location. So I'll just do that one more time and then control or start click the clip and it moves it to the playhead. So you might also want to snap not the start of the clip but the end of it. In that case, locate the cursor where you want it to be and then the Mac shortcut is control command click or the Windows equivalent would be control start click like that. So once again, click where you want the end of the clip to be, control command on Mac or control start on Windows and it will snap the end of the clip to that location. One of the other shortcuts in this uh, family of shortcuts is if you have uh, a sync point in the clip, so I'll probably make another video on sync points, but you can add a sync point to a clip either by doing command and comma or you can go to the clip menu and identify sync point. And that will act in a similar way. So if I've got the cursor as a reference point and I want to snap not the start or end, but in this case, the sync point, well, the shortcut for this one on the Mac is control shift click, which on Windows is start shift. And then you can see when I did that, it snapped the sync point to the cursor location. Okay. There is actually another very similar related family of shortcuts which is accessible by command and right clicking on a Mac or control right click on Windows and you'll see that we now have these uh, move commands. So move clip start to uh, selection start, move clip sync to selection start or move clip end to selection start. So any of those. So again on Mac command and right click, that's important that it's right click not left click which of course on Windows is control and uh, right click and then select the one you want. I'll do end and there it is. There is one uh, important thing which is related to this and uh, you may have done this by mistake. Um, you might be aware that there is a shortcut which if you want to move a clip up or down whilst maintaining its position in time so you don't want to accidentally shift it left or right you can hold down control on Mac, start on Windows and uh, move it up or down and you can see if I move left or right its horizontal position has been constrained by holding down that key. However, it's quite easy to make a mistake with this. So if you hold down control and then you click it, you'll see that it's snapped. So it's important if you want to, if you don't want to snap it, but you want to just constrain the position for a move, then in that case, make sure that you click the clip and then hold down control and then drag it. So that's a few Pro Tools shortcuts related to Snapping. See you next time.